Leadership starts with taking that first step and that's what you guys have done here today. So I just want to encourage you to continue on. It's, it's always important to do things from the heart. When you do things from the heart, whether it's speaking or acting on behalf of your community, it should always come from the heart and you'll never have anything to worry about. We need to start preparing our youth and start mentoring our youth for leadership. So when you come to these youth camps, that's what you're doing, is you're providing yourself the opportunity to be, to be able to learn, to make new friends, to express who you are as a person, to find your gift, and to find something that you love to do. We're going to do some icebreakers, just kind of get you out of your cells, kind of into the space. And what we're going to do is this movement symbolizes that you're about to start a learning journey together. Jazzy Jasmine. Jazzy Jasmine. Yeah, anybody else coming up with something for water? We have governance. Anybody else? Can you prioritize? What would you like to see done first? I'm still working on fisheries. Since 1985, I've been working on fisheries. I'm going to be at home chilling and retirement, and I feel like you guys are going to be signing the treaty. That's just the feeling I get. So if I'm gonna let you take over the community, then I wanna know you guys know what the heck you're doing. What would you do with that money? Okay. Um, I'll try to open up more rec centers for the, for the kids, so then we'll open up more fundraisers so we can go places like all, all across Canada learn about like all the different tribes, I guess. Yeah! So, during the camp, the kids all went into different garden sections, so we wanted to spark the interest to see if any of them would pick it up. And I have to say, they did all did pretty amazing. No, I was very glad to spend the weekend with the, with the youth. There was a lot of uh, good information. I know you were listening because when you were asked questions, you answered and it was really good. But it was really, really nice to see just this group of people that didn't know each other all at one point, and now you're all one big family. And I'm just going to say, hands up to you. It was very, very amazing for me to see all of you learning what leadership is all about, treaty, self-governance. My great-grandfather embedded in me since I was 11 years old that a good leader that he was mentoring me in was a balance of being political and cultural. So I encourage you to find a mentor in education and cultural and leadership because I think each and one of you brings something unique I have to say that I was not comfortable speaking in front of anyone until I was about 20 years old. It took a, a lot of work, but when the, uh, that work didn't come from practicing speaking over and over again, that work was put towards putting all of your thoughts aside, clearing your mind, clearing your head, and speaking from the heart, because if you speak from the heart, you're going to have all your ancestors behind you speaking for you and speaking through you. That's the most important part. The best thing that I've learned in my life is respect. My grandma always told me, you do not look at anybody and judge them because you don't know the life that they live. You don't know the journey they walk on. Instead, you take them by your side and let's walk together, let's go. You take care of everybody because that's who we are as a people. I ask for you guys to act as witnesses for what you learned here to go bring it back to the youth in your community because the next youth conference that comes up, I'm going to hope that I see all of you again.